so grumpy, dude. How's your summer, dude? Dude, I've been with you all summer. Um, uh, right, dude. Cool, Steve. What? It's cool. Cool today. <gasps> I'm your anchor, Desire Smith. And I'm your anchor, Abby Alvarez. Welcome to the first episode of Season 8 of Sun TV. Hey! We hope everybody enjoyed their summer. Even though it was a little shorter than usual, we still hope all of you were able to make the best of it. What did you do this summer? Leave a comment below and let us know. Speaking of summer, it was pretty warm outside for Sun's 2022 annual club day. I agree. It was raining during last year's club day, and low-key, it was not it. Not it at all. On September 1st, 2022, Sen held their club day on Sen's front lawn. Let's take a look. Your boy Jaboopy Doopy. Welcome to Sen's famous annual club day. Club day offers a variety of clubs for students to check out and sign up for at their own interest. As we speak, students and staff are pouring in, so let's check out what's happening. It is my first club day here at Sen. Um, I'm really feeling the music right now. I kind of want to drop it right now, but I can't do that, right? Um, I'm excited to see all the different things that are here for students to be a part of. Um, I see trio over there. I heard basketball. I see some sunflowers. I want to go around and see what's going on in the knitting club right now. Mr. Walsh is really having a good time right now, as you can see over there. What's one club that if you were making a club, you would make? You know what? I, an architecture club. I would like to see us build some things. I think we have this front lawn. Maybe for lunch we could build a tree house to play in. I don't know, but something like that. Sounds a little dangerous, but definitely <laughs> fun. A last question, last but not least, wrapping up. Do you like cicada skin? Um, I like finding the shells. Yes. I don't like listening to them. They're very fun. They're crunchy, too. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Then my question to you all is, how do you feel about Club Day? Fun. It's truly amazing. You, you guys should, should join Sen. It's the best best day of my life right now. Yeah, true. Yeah. You guys should join Sen. And then, sorry. And then, have you all signed up for any clubs or anything? Yes. Which one? Um, guitar. Same as well. Music. 
Join the guitar program. Thank you. Have a good one. Um, tell me about your club. So we have the knitting club. It's named BT Lives in the Stitch. Because when I was teaching in Lawndale, one of the students named it that after my son who passed away. So, but it's a, I teach you how to knit, and then we also, I sell what you knit. And then you get the money, so it's a little business. Uh, how has Club Day changed over the years as you've been in Sen for the past four years? I mean, honestly, it hasn't. Okay, it hasn't really changed. I just like the fact that we can even do it, and um, it's actually beneficial for colleges now. So that's another reason why I did it. But like, I don't really think it's changed over the years. But I think it's it's so called getting a little better because you can just you can do whatever. You have a lot of you have a lot of sports and activities that you can actually do. I think it's really beneficial for everybody besides seniors. about club day what are your initial thoughts uh the music's good I, I came in i could feel the bass walking through the door um yeah it's pretty good i see a bunch of people i see a bunch of my friends i see like some of my friends that went to my old school like him and camilo and everyone so it's, it's pretty cool have you signed up for any clubs so far or anything no i don't got time <laughs> thank you all right have a good one thank you too so tell us about your club or your team. Uh, on the cross country team, we run, uh, we do races um, that are on Saturdays out in like the suburbs against other schools. Uh, some of them are in the city, and uh, yeah, we just have a lot of fun running together and uh, pushing ourselves to uh, do our best. We hope everyone had a great experience at Club Day 2022. Back to you, anchors. <laughs> It's always fun to see any new clubs that are introduced this year, especially after doing this for four years now. I know. We can't wait to see what comes out of the clubs this year, especially ones that include special performances for students throughout the year, even the new clubs that students will create. And speaking of new things, Set High School has a new interim principal. We welcome Ms. Holly Dakers. We got the privilege to speak to her during our class, and now it's time for you guys to learn a little more about her and her plans for Sen. Let's give a warm welcome to Principal Dakers. Hey Bulldogs, my name is Alexis Villinger and I'm reporting for Send TV. After the departure of last year's principal, Ms. Miller, Holly Dakers became the interim principal of Send High School over the summer. I will be interviewing her and asking her some burning questions that you may have had regarding her as well as the rest of the school year. Let's get started. Why did you want to be a principal? I realized I wanted to make sure I was the last one who would never give up on a kid. And so being a principal actually gives me that opportunity so the buck stops with me, and if I never stop, that means I'm always doing what I should be doing for kids. So interim principal just means that I don't have the current four-year contract right now, um, but I do have all of the other roles and responsibilities that principals have, minus the four-year contract, which, if you were to ask me, is my ultimate goal, because Sen is where I want to be. Uh, quite a few things I want to help Sen accomplish this year. Part of it is just through a lot of listening and, and paying attention and just questioning and asking why. I enforce the rules because I care about people. Um, and I just want students to be able to get everything that they need, which includes being at class on time and being able to pay attention. And so um, those are the two rules that I have not changed, but um, we're just really enforcing. How will the incident at Club Day affect our future school events? Um, people make mistakes and honestly every day is a new day. So sometimes like there are consequences for our actions whether they're good or bad. The goal is not to take away from the large group just because of a small incident that we can have a separate conversation with. Um, but the goal is to really just ensure students do know every day is a new day with me. We might buzz and fight but at the end of the day we are a Sun family so let's talk about it and figure out what we need to put in place to move forward. How do you feel about Sin so far? I love it. I love that it's a bulldog. Um, I love that it's green. I actually feel that it looks good on me at some times. Um, but I really love high school. Um, the majority of my career has been in high school, and there's just something magical about Sun and the campus. 
And lastly, do you like cats or dogs? Is oh, that's a fascinating question since we're the Bulldogs. Um, strangely enough, growing up, we had a cat. I was always sick and my mom couldn't figure out why. Well, I was allergic to cats, so it's easy for me to say, being a sun bulldog, I am a dog person through and through. Dogs are great, huh? Dogs are great. I love them. <laughs> Hence, you can see the bulldogs back here, too. Got the bulldog pride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to send it back? I do. Back to you in the studio. We are so excited to see what Miss Dakers brings to the table this year. What do you guys think about her? I think she's pretty cool. I think a lot of us are anticipating her hard work for our school and to see how much she'll offer for Sen. I agree. I think something else we are anticipating this year for Sen, though, are our sports teams. Ooh, yes, I love sports. I'm not, aren't you on the volleyball team? Oh, could you tell? I think that's the one thing I nonstop talk about. As you should. How's it going? <laughs> it's good, you know, senior season. Hey! hey! But I wouldn't trade my team for the world. They're awesome and I'm very much looking forward to the rest of the season. Let's check out how the rest of Sun Sports are doing. Take it away, sports anchors. Uh, okay. um, hi, my name is Aureli. And today we have here... Uh, Mr. Brewer. Um, how was the transition from the summer to the beginning of the school year in the sports season? Uh, so the sports season actually starts uh, August 8th this year, so it started in the summer. Um, and so the transition from obviously not doing much or just summer workouts to actual season um, is a lot for students, a lot for coaches. It's go times, right? So um, most sports practice every day. And then with the transition to the start of the school year, and especially this year starting a week earlier, I think is an adjustment for our athletes as well. Um, and so... Uh, the transition has been um, different, but it's been smooth. So, yeah. Um, what are your goals for this sports season? Goals for the sports season. So our goals, obviously, are for every sport to improve uh, based on what they did last year, right? And I think we're already seeing growth in sports like soccer, uh, swimming, uh, tennis especially. So um, that's always the goal is to improve uh, based on what we did before. But also to... Uh, a goal of our athletic department is to celebrate our students, right? And so I think that um, any chance we can have to celebrate students on social media, uh, look out for daily announcements this year, um, I think are really good ways to celebrate athletes in the building, so. Yeah. Um, what can we expect in the later sports season? So later sports seasons, um, obviously fall sports are going on right now. Uh, October, usually state playoff time, so those are exciting times. Um, you know, and then we have our winter sports that are come up. We might have some new faces that are in the building as coaches, like boys basketball um, and maybe some wrestling coaches. And so I think that's exciting uh, what to expect. And then our spring sports, you know, hopefully um, last year's spring was brutally cold. Uh, and so hopefully uh, we get some good weather this spring where uh, all our athletes can play the games that they have planned. Uh, and again, every sport, our, you know, our goal is just to improve, you know, based on last year's team and grow our programs and, and celebrate our students, so yeah. Um, any other questions or comments about? Um, no, we're just excited to have sports and back to our like quote unquote normal, right? Um, and so uh, make sure that students, you check out games this year, uh, come to games, come to uh, football. Our schedules are online, so you can come check those out. Uh, and I definitely encourage you to cheer on your friends and you know our school and go Bulldogs. Thank you, and now let's send it back to our anchors. Stop! Stop hitting! If you do hit any more, then... Get the ball! I'm not joking about this game! 
Don't lie to you. Football. You play football. about how the sports teams are doing. Keep it up, San Athletes. We applaud you all. Do you know what else deserves a round of applause? Wait, don't say it. Oh, I definitely know what this one's gonna be. Girl, everybody should know what I'm about to say. Wait, I don't think our audience knows. Wait, they don't know? There's no way. How do they not know about pop? No, 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 no. Stop it right there. We need to give our next segment a proper introduction. Drum roll, please. Let's give a warm Sun TV welcome to our beloved Mr. Pablo Love! Get those tissues ready now, y'all. Pablo Love is about to blow everyone away with these poetic lines. Pablo Love in the house! Hot and Pablo Love. Welcome to this edition of Poetry Corner. We got one for poem. It's called Nature Statement. The tree stop. They forgot to take. Not because it, because they can't physically, but they can't to live with the guilt, killing, cutting a tree, not ready, just born a few hundred years ago. Cut it when it's ready. Cut it when it lived all it could live. When they're ready. You will know. But if you still want to cut it, you will live the realization that that tree was not ready to go. Do you really want to hear the muffled voice? Power love. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. And let's bring it, let's take it to Desire Smith for her new segment. Let's see what she's got to say. Are you tired of the school's questionable lunch? Well, I am too. So today I present to you all four snack and lunch ideas to make after school and for school. The first one is homemade lunchable. So this one was pretty simple. Um, all you need is like Ritz crackers or bagel chips, um, any cheese of your choice, and then I use pepperoni, you can use like tuna or turkey or anything you like. Um, now I'm just cutting the cheese into squares and placing everything together to look all fancy. And then you just assemble everything and it looks like that. Um, it was definitely Little Brother approved, so y'all go try it. Do a thumbs up or thumbs down if it's good or bad. The next one we have is the peanut butter honey toast. Um, you just start off with any bread of your choice. I use like oat bread and then we have like peanut butter and then I slice the bananas up and then we have honey. Um, this one requires like a pan and I just toasted the bread up and then spread the peanut butter on there. Real nice and smooth. Um, then I put the banana slices on there. I was trying to be all cute with my editing like I don't even <laughs> but it's cool. And then I just drizzled the honey on there. And yeah. My brother loved this one. Like, he was obsessed. He ate the whole thing. Like. <laughs> the next one we have is a strawberry banana smoothie. All you need is literally strawberries. I use frozen strawberries to make it easier. Um, bananas and almond milk. And then if you don't have frozen, just put ice. You can just put ice in there. Um, so, yeah. Slicing up the bananas again. And if you want, you can just use the rest of the banana from the banana toast. And yeah, my brother loved this one too. This one, I definitely made a couple times. It was so good. Y'all go try it. The last one I have is really simple. It's a fruit dip. So I have cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla. I recommend softening your cream cheese before you mix it up. Um, this one's good, but honestly, I think if you put some lemon juice in there and a little bit more sugar, 
it would taste way better um the little brother liked it but it's definitely still sitting in the fridge so let me know what y'all think what? about these recipes in the comments what don't forget y'all i want to see the lunch and snack ideas during the next week i know y'all can whip it up out there those are some good ideas desire we see you those are some great new ideas to prevent us from getting bored of our average old school lunch so many new things are happening at SEN, and this leads to our last segment where we finally ask our SEN students their thoughts on what's all going on. Let's hand it over to our person on the street crew while they'll be asking our students the famous question, what are your thoughts about the new rules at SEN? Let's see what our students have to say. Roll the clip. Hey Bulldogs, this is Sebastian for Person on the Street asking students of SEN how they feel about the new SEN policies and rules in place for the 2022-2023 year, school year. Let's see what they have to say. So how do you feel about the new rules at SEN? I think the new rules are not that good, especially the rules about <laughs> using your phone in the hallways. Um, personally, I don't like it because the phones, it's not it. Like for the hallways and stuff, like, hello, like... I need to use my phone sometimes, like, what am I going to do, like, you know, at the hallways, like, you know, and from the microwave not being in the lunchrooms, like, I know, like, a lot of people that, you know, like to microwave their food, you know, like, they don't want to eat cold food, you know, that's not good, you know, and um, cell phones, like, I mean, sometimes it can be kind of a bug, but, like, people, you know, that's the only time we get to really be on our phones to, like, check on people to see what classes they're going to or, like, to see um, any updates or anything like that, you know? Uh, I mean, I'm not really too bothered by them. I just feel like just don't be doing too much. Just follow the rules, and then you won't really care as much. Yeah, so I feel like they can't enforce all the rules. Like, I'm going to be on my phone in the hallway. And, like, the rule, like, they took away the, the microwave, you said? Yeah, that's not cool, man. Or if I got to warm up my lunch, you know what I'm saying? I don't eat this nasty school lunch they got. It's not healthy. My own lunch from home, I'm saying it's really good. So you got to eat like that. Bring back the microwave or you're a bum. I feel that actually most of my students uh, weren't on board with it. Um, pretty much everybody that I talked to didn't agree with what was happening. It seemed like it was a small percentage of the students. Um, I also think that it was based off of personal feelings and things they were going off of from last year. Um, we were lacking in a little bit of rules and things at the start of the year, and now that we started off stronger this year, I think that they're reacting to that and they're not agreeing with it. Um, and also the reaction to with the principal or to the principal, I, I disagree with. I think Ms. Takers is doing a fabulous job. She's very excited to be here, um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's my opinion. New policies feels like a loaded term to me. Um, they're policies that have been in existence, uh, and it doesn't seem like upperclassmen are responding in the way that underclassmen are. I think underclassmen are making an adjustment transitioning from elementary school to high school. Um, I don't know. I teach civics, and there are certainly some action-oriented items in the school that could use true attention and in the community. I don't know that like not being able to answer my phone in the middle of class or in a hallway is one of those issues that's a, like make or break for society. If it is, then I have bigger concerns about society. You know, like homelessness, hunger, food insecurity. These are major issues, right? And those are issues that like we work with in civics and we're trying to teach civic action to juniors and maybe that's our fault. Maybe we should be teaching civic action to freshmen um, if they're so upset about like my cell phone and my lunch and I don't know. I don't know what they're so upset about. I don't teach underclassmen. The student's reaction is just that, a reaction, a lot of emotion is coming from this, uh, the whole cell phones in the hallway thing. Uh, it's for good reason. And uh, although it's not what they're used to and now it's being enforced, there's obviously pushback. But the reaction of having a walkout and protest and wanting some people to get fired, I think is uh, a little loony and ludicrous in my opinion. Well, that's all for Person on the Street. Till next time. We're happy to get a word out of our students at SEN and we respect everyone's voice here on the show. I don't know about you guys, but man, it's about that time, huh? What are you talking about? Unfortunately, I think that is all we have for the episode. Season 8, episode 1 already over? And you already know this is going to be the best season out there. Oh, for sure. We hope everyone enjoyed the first episode and there are many more to come. See y'all next time. This is for good. That's a wrap. Let's give it up for our great job. Hey guys.
guys, I'm Faith Turner Lafayette, and today I'm here with Delilah Calderon. Um, how do you feel about the? How do you feel about Club Day today? Um. <laughs> a picture. Of this is picture. this is uh, Louis no. Alexis. No, yeah, Louis. Hey, don't call me Alexis. <laughs> Hi, my name is Faith Turner. I What's your name? My name is Ruth. <laughs> What? My name is Ruth T. Ruth T. Can you spell your first and last name? Uh, my, my, how do you spell it? <laughs> it's R U T H T E. Ruth T. Oh, okay. Wait, James is your brother? Yes.